T.O., you had your own reality show with those two girls. Mm -hmm. um, did they stab you in the back? Well, as I mentioned, the last time we talked, uh, again, you know, they did do some things that were Damn. uncharacteristic, you know, uh, for myself. T.O. on oh Wendy. God. What did you think? I mean, he tried to say you threw him under the bus. It was, I mean, girl. I want to throw him under the Selma bus, okay? How you doing? Um, I'll say this, you know, the, the interesting part is Monique and I have known Terrell Owens, or as Wendy called him, Terrell Williams. Um, have known him for 13 years. We created the show called The T.O. Show, the very show that allows him to go on Celebrity Apprentice, allows him to be a part of what I consider mainstream because that's where people got a chance to know the man, not the athlete. The people that watched our show were invested in T.O., but they also got a chance to know two girls who were hardworking, professional, educated, college driving women. And I think the hardest part of that is when he goes on the shows and when you fall out with someone that you love, because let's be clear, 13 years of friendship, that show we created for him, we didn't take a percentage from him. We've never dealt with his money, we've never dealt with his finances, so it hurts me when he leaves it open-ended as if we've taken something from him, you know? But I can't wait for the day for, for us to sit down and talk about why he's really upset. Do you, know, do you know, do you think you know why he's really upset? Girl, he don't know why he's upset. I think that here's the difference. Terrell Owens has been a brand before we even did the show that's been known to be a victim. On the football field, with his quarterback, with his team, you know, even with his baby mama drama. And Monique and I have been there with him from day one, you know? So it hurts me that you would publicly, you know, say that we've done things to you that make people think that it has something to do with immoral character. You understand what I'm saying? I'm a woman who had celebrity clients and dealt with celebrities before him. You know what I mean? So it messes with my brand and my image. That's defamation of character. Because ultimately, I would side-eye somebody if, if another celebrity is saying, I don't know about them. So ultimately, his issues have a lot to do with his own issues as a man. I mean, hell, he was on Celebrity Apprentice and, and couldn't raise the $2,500. How you doing? So if you take that part and you roll it back, the one thing that Monique and I really looked at was if you can't raise the $2,500 because somebody didn't come through, that meant you were only relying on that one person. So where are all those other friends and all those other celebrities that you should have as your ally because you've been a part of several teams with multimillionaires. You have a lot of celebrity friends that have deep pockets that should be able to help you out. So that says something about what you planted in terms of a friend yourself. You don't have any friends. How do you guys get back to a place where it's cordial again, where you guys can maybe start to build that friendship over again and really, you know, say the apologies that need to be said? Well, <clears throat> I think it'll take Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and Coretta Scott. And we all gonna march over that bridge together. Um, you know what, I think when he matures, because what, what I will say is this, I'm talking about something because he started to say some things about us. And I think the important part is, as long as, Pete, as he understands that we were a part of his life, just like he was a part of ours, and we created something for him and with him that people are still gonna wanna know about, I'm not gonna throw you under the bus. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 I know better than that. My mama taught me better than that. But at the end of the day, I realized that friendships are important to people who know what a friend means. He's not, he didn't know what a friend means. He's just learning how to be a father. And that's not shade, that's because he didn't have a father, okay? So, you know, at the end of the day, when you have a man who's broken, he's not gonna know how to fix himself. So I'm gonna let that slide and put him in a corner, as we call a T.O., a timeout.